I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, okay, number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? None. No? None. Okay. None. <laughs> you used to watch uh, Martha Stewart, right? I used to. I used to. We've just gotten Hulu. We were like no cable people for a long time. I watch Rick Bayless sometimes on PBS. Okay. We could stream it through an antenna. <laughs> Great. Number two. What are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? I think you mentioned earlier um, Molly Ye and, um, and Turntable Kitchen. Or tur- yep, Molly yeah. Ye's turn- yep, Turntable Kitchen. Um, a new one to me-ish is Renee Kent. Her photography is beautiful. Um, I go to her site to just kind of bask in the photography. And then Love, Comma, Cake. Um, she's actually who I got my base scone recipe, or I based my base scone recipe off of. Her recipes are so, it's a baking blog, so good. Um, I think she even has a culinary background. Um, her, her photos are beautiful. Go to Love, Comma, Cake. Um, who else? First, I, we make a lot of bowls, and they can get kind of like mundane and redundant. So I go to Pinch of Yum. Pinch of Yum has all the sauces in the world. They're quick and easy. They come together in no time. Um, so go to Pinch of Yum for your sauces. And... Mm, I like veg. We eat a lot of vegetarian foods. We're not vegetarian, though people think we are. Um, so I go to Cooking Kate and Naturally Ella and a couple cooks for inspiration on that front. Perfect. Number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat that make you happy? So I'm a Pinterest delinquent. I barely get on Pinterest. Um... Facebook, I follow Cooking Kate again. I love her recipes. She has roundups, which are so nice because I just need a lot of ideas. I mean, everybody, we're always cooking. Um, and then also, I like Foodie Crush on Facebook. She also has a ton of ideas. Um, she's fun and playful. Um, Instagram is my time suck. I spend all my time there. I love Instagram. Again, I love Renee Kemp's. Uh, her stuff is beautiful. Um, who else? Gosh, she's the one that stands out the most to me. I love her stuff right now. Um, and then Snapchat, I am, uh, not going to join. I have to save my time somewhere and spend it all on Instagram. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Perfect. Number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go treasured. It's not unusual. It's very everyday, but it's my chef's knife. I have used it so much. I, I mean, I use it multiple times a day. Um, it's starting, the handle is starting to chip away, which it shouldn't. It's never spent a day in the dishwasher, but I use it so much that um, it is well loved. Perfect. <laughs> Number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. I would say cheese. I'm working on cheese. Um, feta. Yeah. I like certain feta. It's got to be pretty fresh. Um, feta. Perfect. Yeah. Number six. What are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Mm-hmm. Whole grain. Oh, what is it called? Whole grain mornings. Um, it's by Megan Gordon. I mentioned her earlier. Uh, I love that cookbook. It's like a handbook for brunch, which is our favorite meal. Um, and then Naturally Ella, Erin's new cookbook, The Vegetarian Every Day. It's a really resourceful, like, vegetarian handbook, seasonal. So she's got, like, a base recipe and then how to make it across the seasons. Um, I would say those are the two dirtiest books in our house, which means they're well used and well loved. Right. Now, and finally, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Oh, man. Um, I listen to Syl Vanesso. I don't know if he's on the offer. We used to listen to it over and over again. Her song, Play It Right, it's just like, it's kind of like a little too mellow, but it, it works for me. And my daughter walks around the house 
So you know, play it right, play it right, play it right. <laughs> Perfect. Well, congratulations, Melissa. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. Oh. <laughs>